so you're ready to launch your app to the App Store or the Google Play Store. You've got your app perfectly designed for your phone screen size, but there's one final challenge. You still need to create all required screenshots to submit to the App Store. Well, let me show you how one method can help you generate screenshots in less than five minutes. Let's cover submission requirements, current methods, and one novel feature in Flutterflow. All right, let's start off with the Apple App Store. Once you've created a new app on the App Store Connect dashboard, you can see the requirements. To start off, you need to submit the screenshots of three different screen sizes for the iPhone and two different sizes for the iPad. These can be submitted in portrait or landscape. In order to get these different resolutions, you can utilize different viewports to validate your app is working for those sizes, plus create screen captures. For example, for the 6.5 inch, you can set up your screen capture with any of the listed devices, such as iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 XS, and so on. And the same way, you can do the same for the iPhone 8 Plus to fulfill your 5.5 inch requirement. You must also do the same for the iPad Pro for the sixth and second generation. A few more specifications to note here. The file type must be JPEG or PNG with high quality compression. You can submit up to 10 screenshots. And if your app supports multiple languages, you'll need screenshots for each language your app supports. As you can see, this is a very tedious task to take on. Furthermore, these requirements are very specific and often periodically updated. So it's always best to check back and see the latest requirements on the App Store. Now let's jump into the Google Play Store requirements. It offers a lot more flexibility in sizing and requirements depending on the platform your app will be deployed to. With respect to dimension and devices, Play Store makes it easy by requiring two to eight screenshots with a minimum dimension of 320 pixels and a maximum dimension of 3,840. Screenshots must be in JPEG or 24-bit PNG format. A 16 by nine aspect ratio is highly recommended and it is also recommended to upload screenshots for each language your app supports, although not required. Thankfully, the Play Store is a little easier to deal with here, but these file specifications may still be difficult to keep track of on top of all the other steps needed to deploy your application. So let's talk about a few ways you may have approached this screenshot dilemma in the past. A common method to get screenshots is to take screenshots on the platform that you developed your application on. If you use Flutterflow already, you may have gone to test mode and screenshot every app dimension using the viewport controls. However, you may still need to do lots of editing to populate your app with the correct showcase values. A second common method is to take screenshots directly from an emulator. This involves running your app multiple times using different devices, and then maybe using Photoshop to create dummy values if you don't already have a populated backend. Many individuals also screenshot here and use common third-party screenshot generators to add more graphics. This method has the possibility of being extremely slow due to runtime issues, spending tedious time changing device sizes, and engaging with a third-party editor to create finishing touches. A third method is to rebuild your app with different dimensions and the appropriate showcase assets in Figma. This generally allows precise control for your screenshots. Many choose to also find Figma templates online to help them in this effort and edit to their specifications. However, if you're not familiar with Figma's interface as a developer, this could also be very time consuming and not in your wheelhouse of skills. You may need to bring in a graphic designer at this point and spend frustrating hours working on each different version of your screenshot. Regardless of your method, if you've created all App Store screenshots before without losing joy, then we salute you. However, in our new Flutterflow 4.0 release, we've made this process a lot easier. Introducing the Flutterflow Screenshot Generator. Get all your screenshots in one export with a neatly curated file structure plus all PNG requirements fit for the App Store and Play Store. Let me show you how it works. So once your Flutterflow project is ready, you can first access the preview mode. Next, activate screenshot mode by clicking the dedicated button. If your page contains variables, you now have the ability to click on them and edit them directly. Whenever you click on a variable, a pop-up will appear and allow you to input text for that specific screenshot. I'm gonna go ahead and change the username here and continue populating my screenshot. Next, for images, you can simply enter the image URL to populate it into your screenshot. Or you can even click the search button to source images directly from Unsplash making this super simple and super fast. Next, to include screenshots from multiple images, you can select the pages icon located on the top left. Choose the pages you wish to generate screenshots for and close the window. Now, 
Choose the desired store for which you want to generate these screenshots. If you want screenshots from multiple pages, be sure to select Capture Selected Pages. Otherwise, only the page you are currently viewing will be downloaded. Finally, hit the Generate Screenshots button and let us initiate the screenshot creation process. Once completed, you'll have access to a list of screenshots with options to regenerate or download them. You will find all your selected generated screenshots downloaded to device with file structure appropriately configured. So in essence, this took about 90 seconds to execute and I'm able to easily select all the file types that I need for my app preview and upload. If you're ready to give this a shot, start by creating a project on Flutterflow. Or if you're a developer, you can also use our pub package to get started. Happy building.